Hey everyone, today we're here in Holyoke, Massachusetts, checking out the abandoned Mount Tom Ski Resort in the summertime. We were here back in the wintertime, but now I want to get some footage with all the foliage. Right now we're inside their old wave pool. Crystal clear water, way above average rainfall this year, surprisingly. Why is this thing not filling up? I've seen other people's videos, it's almost completely filled out. That graffiti looks really nice at the fish. Let's go look around. Most of these buildings they've completely demolished. This was the old main structure of the place. But we can walk around underneath it. The basement's still here where the locker rooms are. Take a look at this bathroom right here. You'd walk in the doorway. You'd have sinks right here. There would be a dividing wall. And right here, there would be three toilet stalls. And over here looks like it may have been a few shower stalls. Basement here has been pushed in. Got the sprinkler valve right here. Pretty cool. Love the tiles here. Let's walk down inside it. Last time I was here, it was so easy to get down in here, but the state or somebody put these metal plates over the stairwell. Can't go with there. And look at this one here. Why'd they leave it open a bit? I don't know, but we're gonna go down here inside it. Doesn't look to be flooded out. Water can't even get in there because of the plates now. Anyone down there? I doubt it. It's a horrible day. I'm gonna get down inside here. Pretty big hole. I'm gonna get a little wet. Climb. Whoa. I'm gonna get a little rusty doing this. Side. You can smell a lot of smoke. People like to set this place on fire sometimes, but it's a concrete structure and nothing will ever come of it. We're walking downstairs into the main hallway. See a lot of mold colonies right there. It's so much darker since they covered up these corridors. I don't think anyone is in here, but I got some bright lights. All right, I thought the smell of mold was gonna be horrible, but considering it's a concrete cinder block building, there's really nothing of the, yeah, it's just smoke damage. People like to set this place on fire. This is the electronics room right here, right beneath the stairs. And then I'm gonna walk in here. We got the utility room. Got some water coming in. And this, I don't think anyone's burned it since the winter. It's because it was so cold. You couldn't really smell anything. Love that cast iron utility sink. Got the water heater in here. Got some duct work. Gonna walk further down the hallway. Got a few tractor trailer tires randomly in here. Going to this room, which got a little light. Now you see how this door is broken down half. Someone were probably sitting in here. I don't know, maybe selling something behind it. Look at the cool light fixtures. Look at that, they were even energy efficient back in 1998 when the place went out of business. Got the energy efficient types. Oh, got a frog. There's a frog down here. Check it out. That's a leopard frog. And got some this is all phone and communications. This was some office for someone. Look at that board on the wall for the phones. Got a, looks like a propane heater or at least natural gas heater up top. This place is nice. It's humid out. A little bit cooler down here. I'm listening carefully. I heard something. All right, this room has the squishy carpet. I remember this from the winter time. Kind of hard to freeze underground. So you got some mold colonies all over the paint on that door. Oh, got another frog. Or is that the same one? Yeah, that's the same one. Okay. 
Now this door doesn't open. Nope. Now we're gonna go into, this is the girls' bathroom. Everything is smashed in here. We've got a cinder block through the toilet. Oh, look at the spider webs on that door. More cinder blocks. Every single toilet is smashed. Look at that, there's so much feces. Someone's still continuing to use that stall. Bunch of poops on the ground. Looks like a school bathroom. It's not fancy at all for a resort. Oh, got a drain in here. Wonder if those drains would still operate at all. See, the sinks have all been smashed out. Someone stole a little bit of copper. Surprised no one stole that. That's a really strong bracket. No one's ever smashed that off the wall. All right, continuing. I don't remember some of this random stuff before. Somebody has been doing vandalism. This room was so dark, someone actually smashed a new hole or maybe uncovered something because that's not actually smashed. That light I know wasn't here before. There must have been something covering that up. That's a hole for conduit or something to get through. This room, you can see the metal studs. You can see the entire ceiling is covered in soot. Somebody probably poured gasoline in here just for fun and lit it up because there's not much that would have burned. You got metal studs with sheetrock. What would burn in here? And look at this, even the press board furniture had trouble burning. Someone just did it just to do it. Let's move over here a little bit. Nothing in this little room. Now we gotta go over into the boys' bathroom, which is this door right here. Anyone in here? Oh, obviously not. I just ripped the spider web. No one's been in here for days, or maybe just overnight. Oh. Uh, this room actually smells like a custodian has been cleaning it. It actually smells like cleaning chemicals in here. A lot more vandalisms from last time, because look at this, these stalls weren't this, they were kind of intact last time. That's what we're smelling. Someone found this toilet bowl cleaner and spilled it all over in here. Now, where's the drain? There's a little bit of a flood in here, and you know, it's not going to drain. I knew there was a drain. That's why I kind of wanted to come here on a rainy day. I thought maybe if that worked. Okay. Look at that little heater right there. They put that in after the fact. This room must have had problems with heating. Now, you see in his room, the sinks, the vanity, everything's been smashed. But not too much new graffiti from last time. Kind of looks the same in here. See there's a lot of mold up on the ceiling. That's a concrete ceiling. It's eating the paint. Concrete would not support mold. You see the smoke damage above the door. Somebody definitely poured accelerants all over this place. Oh, you know, there's another frog. Now that's not the same one. That's a baby leopard frog right there. And got a nice spider. Now this is the other corridor. You see, they completely sealed it off, and I'm sure after this video, someone's gonna completely seal the other one. But why'd they leave it open? Maybe for emergency access? I have no idea. You know, I think maybe they left it open because you, but that doesn't make any sense. If someone was to fall through these other holes, why don't they seal them all? Right here, you got a barn swallow nest that took advantage of the new plates. That means these plates have been up since the spring if barn swallows were able to build a nest in here. Now check it out. As I walk up, the ceiling gets shorter and shorter. That's pretty cool, isn't it? All right. And these stairs are still in great condition. Oh, got another fro another leopard frog. That's a third one, definitely not the same as the other because that one's going down the stairs. And right here is the main sprinkler shutoff valve. Definitely those metal plates are deterring a lot of people from going in here because we got covered in a little bit of rust and wet sliding down inside that. That deters a lot of people, because look at the doors all have spider webs. They haven't been moved in a while. Yeah, that's the main sprinkler shutoff. 
And right there is a bell, fire bell. That would be great as a doorbell for someone who has problems hearing the doors. All right, we're gonna head up to another building as soon as we get out of here. We got another barn swallow nest up here, right on top of the sprinkler. All right, time to get out of here and squeeze back up through the top. Oh, my hat's still up here, thankfully. If this was winter time, you'd easily be able to see a building. It's so dense this time of year. But take a look at this building. Burned down just a few years ago. Now the graffiti here is all new. This building also has a basement you can easily walk in. And look at that. We'll go up to that building after. This is the ski slope. I'm sure they're mowing it because this place has been closed for nearly 30 years. No, 23 years. Look at all the nails left over after the building burned. Look at the basement. Not as flooded as you'd expect. Anyone in here? Oh, this place is kind of flooded out. Look at all the leaks. Just coming right out. There's a pretty cool bird's nest right there on top of the garage door opener. Look at how that wire just melted when people threw gas in here. Some pretty big puddles in this building. Not too much to see. It's a small utility room. Now that's got to be plexiglass if nobody has ever smashed that window. You see the railing here. They wanted people to line up in some certain way. For a minute I thought someone was in here. There's a lot of dripping water. The fire extinguisher box has been stolen. There's a lot of mold in here because this part of the building has a lot of wood. Oh, look at that. Water coming right out of the conduit, dripping on that metal box. That's what's making the noise. I'm always so scared to go around these corners. There's nothing in here except a fire panel and the typical electrical. Yeah, look at those old breakers. Surprising. The criminal wasn't smart enough to take those with the copper because the copper's worth money, but those old breakers actually contained pure silver inside each one. And I remembered from last time, you gotta watch your step. There's a big drop. Oh, and there's frogs in here which are basically trapped because of the big drop. Oh, nope, it got up onto some flotation devices. Yeah, you, you can see this place, as soon as a few days without rain, that's gonna empty because none of that stuff is waterlogged. It doesn't just sit there. Okay, up on the roof of this building, got some really squishy moss. Not worried about falling through. This is reinforced concrete, the entire thing. But you saw inside all the dripping water, this rubber roof has been broken by so many tree roots. 